In this section, we are going to talk about the details of the wide array network. In the first chapter, we'll take a look to the wide array network overview, then we'll check the one technologies. Wide array network is a network that extends over a large geographical distance. And Wider and networks are often established with ISP, Internet Service Provider circuits that provides remote connection between different local area networks most of the time. So we have a few key terms in here about wider area network. The first key term is we are extending on a large geographical distance. And the second term is we are often establishing our wider network using the internet service providers circuits. So business, education and government entities use wider network to relate data among staff, students, clients, buyers and maybe suppliers from various geographical locations. Please keep in mind that most of the wide array network technologies operate at OC layer 2 which is data link layer. And here are the topology types of the physical wide array network. We have point to point wide array network topology as you can see that we have a point-to-point -point communication between two end devices. We have, an up, how, we have a hub and spoke topology. In this topology we have a hub device at the center and we have spokes connected to that hub and spokes are communicating each other over that hub and we have a full mesh topology as you can see that that's a really great topology that provides high availability and all links are redundant for example if I want to get from A to B I can use this way I can use this path I can use is bad. So in a full mesh technology, no matter if one of my links are down or not seriously, because I'm using redundant links. That's a really cool technology, but it's very hard to implement because that will be really, really hard and that will be really expensive the implementing the full mesh technology. And let's take a look to the circuit switching method. In the circuit switching, we have two network nodes establishing a dedicated communication channel through the network before the nodes may communicate. We have two nodes in here and we have a dedicated channel, dedicated circuit in here. In the circuit switching, circuit guarantees the full bandwidth of the channel and remains connected for the duration of communication session. We can use to, we can give examples the technologies of ISTN and PSTN, which is public switched telephony networks. to the circuit switching. And we have packet switching also. Packet switching groups all transmitted data into packets which are transmitted via a medium that may be shared by multiple simultaneous communication session. As you, as you can see that we have switching nodes again. We have packets coming to here and all packets can use the same path and can get their destinations. 
Packet switching increases network efficiency, robustness and enables technological convergence of many applications operating on the same network. And we can give an example to packet switching and it is Metro Ethernet. And time to take a look to the one technologies right now. The first technology is list line technology. In list line, we have private bidirectional or symmetric telecommunication line between two or more locations. Please pay attention that we are using T3 standard for USA and we are using E3 standard for Europe and this kind of a technology is being used for telephone data or internet services and Lisland provides high quality availability and dedicated link because it's expensive right now it's not so popular anymore as you can see that we have two customer offices, we have CSU and DSU devices which terminates the ISP circuit and two offices are communicating each other from the ISP's dedicated link. And we have a dial-up technology with, which is really, really, really an old technology and it's about to die anymore. That supports very low bandwidth. That's a really simple design and chip, but that's legacy anymore. You have dial-up modems to terminate the sessions and you are connected to ISP cloud via dial-up modems, but as, I, but as I told you before, we are not using it too much anymore. Let's take a look to the ISDN and ISDN is communication standard for simultaneous digital transmission of voice, video, data and other network services over the traditional circuits of public switch telephone network. IST, over ISDN we can carry video data too but actually we are not doing this. Most of the times we are using to carry voice traffic with ISDN and we have two types there ISDN PRI and ISDN BRI. And here we have another technology and its name is ATM. In ATM technology, routers are connected via ATM switch on ISP backbone. On the ISP side, we have ATM switch and they are connected each other. and provides end-to-end -end communication between different locations. This, these switches are doing this. ATM uses asynchronous time division multiplexing and encodes data into small fixed size packet frames called cells. Cells are 53 bytes length in ATM. But ATM is also about to die. ATM is a legacy one technology and here is the feature. On the telecommunication networks, on the ISP networks, we are not using ATM, we are not using dial-up, we are not using leased line anymore so much and the technologies that I counted before are about to die because we are using 
MPLS networks. MPLS directs data from one network node to the next based on short path labels. And MPLS routers are connected via MPLS switches on ISP backbone. I'm sorry, not MPLS routers, our location, our routers in the location are connected via MPLS switches on ISP backbone. And that's the most popular one technology right now. We can use PPP services, internet, metro ethernet or point to point metro ethernet as I said from MPLS or we can use VPN technology and that's a very flexible and great technology series that we are using today. For example, let's say that here is the office of maybe let's say that this Paris again and Paris in Paris let's say that our service provider has an MPLS switch and the MPLS switch in Paris let's say that it's connected to maybe need oh not this maybe to Marseille and the other various locations are connected to each other and this one is connected to NIS, let's say, and let's say that here is NIS. And the traffic comes from Paris until NIS using the MPLS switches connected to each other. On the customer side, we have a switch named customer edge switch and we are terminating the fiber optic cable communic connection via customer edge switch. Then we are taking one more cable from the customer edge switch and connecting it to my router. And lastly we have VSAT technology too. VSAT is a two-way satellite ground station with a dish antenna that's smaller than 3 meters and VSAT provides a private van via satellite systems. As you can see that we have antennas looking at the satellite and we provide the communication between two locations. Alright guys. We are coming to end of this session too and thanks for viewing.